We're at the corporate headquarters of Starbucks to tell the stories of veterans. And you see what 17,000 like veteran and spouses and family members actually look like. It gives you a greater appreciation for how many people they really are hiring. One of the most important things I can do for any spouses or veterans that come in here is give them a spot. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Oh, Japs. We fight our country's battle. Hold on, that's my favorite part. To the shores of Tripoli. All right, Japs. First to... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I know it was a long day. It was a long day. We've done a ton. I was very pleasantly surprised with Starbucks headquarters because when we first got there... I was just blown away by how big it is and how fancy everything was inside. Like it's it was just a like cool a, it was a fancy fest. All right, Zero Block Thirty is here at Starbucks Come on, headquarters. Come uh, hurry up! Jeff Let's go. Really he loves the Starbucks. Let's go. Let's go. If you want to brew paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it, want to make a latte, there's nothing to it. I get that Chaps gets enthusiastic and motivated for a lot of things, but we're at the corporate headquarters of Starbucks to tell the stories of veterans. I feel like it's a little overkill. Um, I'm a little embarrassed, to be honest, but I'm sure he'll tone it down. I got a little carried away from time to time, I admit. I just felt like because I was there and they brought us to like talk about Starbucks, I feel like I had to go a step above. And they go a step above for the veterans, I feel like. You think of Starbucks and all I think of are baristas and what I see every day, and there's so much more to it. They're great too, but there's so much behind the scenes and there are so many veterans and so many cool roles like there. Like when you go up to that wall and you see what 17,000 like veteran and spouses and family members actually look like, it gives you a greater appreciation for how many people they really are hiring. Yeah, they talk the walk for sure. And that's why we've taken every single aspect of this entire video so seriously because we thought it was important. We got to go have a super nice time doing stuff like latte art. I'm Sean, U.S. Navy vet, and I'm just ready to throw down some latte. I'm Kate, we're competing against the Navy today, and I'm ready to sink some ships. Hi, I'm Chaps, and these people are in a latte trouble. I'm Nikki, and I'm an Army wife. Dave, Navy veteran. I've been watching Kate prepare for this. She is lost in the sauce, has no idea what she's doing. This is gonna be a bloodbath of epic proportions. Hands on the tables. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. <laughs> Are they hot? I'm cleaning your wand for you. Ooh. <laughs> Dripping down the sides like a snack. And then two eyeballs in the middle. <laughs> We already know who the winner is here. Wow, these are really something. <laughs> these are all very different. Uh, this is a work of art, no question about it. Um, this one is probably my favorite. The next one really needs no words, kind of a heart gone awry. Yes, so I, I don't think I'd comment any more about that, but I would agree with you, Sierra, that, that second heart, that would be my champion of these five as well. I knew I was gonna take them down. That's what happens when the military meets Starbucks. The cream rises to the top. It wasn't just business, though. There was a little bit of pleasure on this trip, too. Like, we got to go on a hike and experience it. Uh, Seattle, if I had one word, what do you think it is? Beautiful. Buddy, that was a lot of coffee. I am wired right now. Same. So but, much energy, I could even go on, like, an old-style hump right now. An old-school hump? Yeah, but we don't have the old-school gear, buddy. Yeah, that'd be awesome, because uh, we could just go through the mountains, and I'd be, like, running through the jungle with my M16. That would be I'm great. a mean mother... The U.S. Marine. It's beautiful. <laughs> the
these are really cool, very rarely seen. These are for the Air Force's Special Forces Unit, which is, uses rollerblades whenever they go in different places with brand new concrete, because you can rollerblade faster than you can run. A lot of people don't realize that, but you can rollerblade up to 12, 15 miles per hour, which is pretty incredible. This is standard issue for riflemen. The way the feathers blow, the direction lets them know how to gauge their adjustments for the wind. So that's important to keep on them. I'm not sure if we'll be shooting on this hike, um, but just good to know. Kate. This is an exclusive first look at the Space Force, um, the first parts of the Space Force uniform. These are Mars boots. We're not quite there yet, but it's cool to see that they're already working on it. Ooh, anti-gravity. Kate, you finding anything good? Yeah, I'm finding a couple things. I was just trying to pick out some boots for the hike. Yeah, those are nice. I'm thinking something aerodynamic and sleek. Do they have any bigger? Those, I don't know mm, if those are big enough. I hope so. But that store was really cool. It got me motivated too. And it's nice in the Marine Corps, you don't get to pick your fit. I'm just glad I got to wear an, an outfit that gave me the opportunity to blend in. The ghillie suit, yeah. classic. You might be wondering why I'm wearing this suit. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> He's dragging entire vine with him. <laughs> Edible. Edible. Not edible. 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 I just made that up. It's nice to be out here in nature again, like the old Marine Corps hikes. Um, disconnect. So yeah. Ah, getting out to the fresh air. <sighs> Being invisible in nature. There's nothing like it. Do you think people on this trail will be able to see me? Hell no. Feels good to be back in my element. A man in the woods and the woods and the man. Oh! Well, it was an awesome day today, but buddy, it's gonna be cold and windy one tonight. After this long hike, I think I'm ready to call it a night. Yeah, I think I'm ready to get some shut eye too. All right, well, I'm gonna go back and just bed down for a little bit. I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow morning. All right, see you at Revelry, bud. <laughs> Golden Girls.